Hi, Rain City folks. Coach Liz, live from my living room. Uh, here to talk you through the workout for Friday, April 10th. Um, first things first, there's a warm up, there's some single leg skill and strength work, there's some upper body uh, pulling work, and then there's an interval workout. For the warm up, you're going to go three rounds, not for time. 10 sumo stands good mornings, 10 bootstrappers, 5 YTWs each. Sumo stands good mornings. You're going to take a wide stance. If you have a band, you can loop it around your neck, neck and then step on it. If you don't, no big deal. From here, unlock your knees. Keep everything here nice and tight and engaged. Send your hips back. Hinge forward as far as you can while keeping your back flat. From the side, looks like this. Uh, for the 10 bootstrappers, you're going to set up in about your squat stance. Reach down, get your hands under your toes. Drop your butt down, peel your chest up, and then bring your hips and butt back up. Stand up. And then for the YTWs, um, you're going to hinge. Set your shoulders at neutral, so not here, but not here. Nice, neutral. Five Ys, like you're making a Y with your arms. Five T's, and then five W's. Awesome. For the uh, lifting portion, there are uh, two pairs of exercises. You're going to do one pair every two minutes, six uh, for a total of six sets. First pair is eight to ten single leg foot elevated hip thrusts per leg. If you have a dumbbell or a barbell, you can put that on your hips to make life a little bit harder. Um, and you're going to pair that with 8 to 10 single leg kickbacks per side. So that's your lower body pairing. Your upper body pairing is going to be an AMRAP banded high pull at a 3-0-X-1 tempo. So that'll be 3 seconds on the way down, paired with AMRAP banded bicep curl. Both of those will be uh, double arm, so both arms at the same time. And then finally, the sweat portion of the workout, four rounds for total reps, two minutes of work, one minute of rest. The two minutes of work starts with 40 single arm deadlifts. That's going to be 20 per arm. Um, when you do the single leg deadlifts, you can set up dumbbell in the middle like so, or dumbbell to the side like so, as long as you're able to do that without rotating. This way is probably a little bit easier. Um, after you finish the buy-in of the 40 single arm deadlifts, you're going to do as many single arm thrusters in the remaining time as possible. Um, each set, each two minute interval, you start back from the beginning with 40 single arm deadlifts. Enjoy!